Hi guys, it's Martha. Welcome back to my channel. I did my makeup today and I feel really, really proud of it. I haven't done like a week in my life vlog in a second and I was like ready to film again. Sometimes it's good to like take a quick break and then come back to it and I feel like super ready. Today I'm going to Little Tokyo to meet Luda and her little brother. He is from Indiana where we're all from and he's visiting for like a week. He's in college right now. He's going to IU, Indiana University, which is where Luda and I went. So we're just gonna go hang out. I think grab some lunch. I'm pretty hungry right now. And then afterwards we have a little incense workshop with the company PF Co, which you guys probably know from their candles. They sell at Urban Outfitters and they have like candles and incense and they're doing this little class with the two people that started the company. I believe they're a couple. I've never made incense before, so that sounds freaking cool. Uh, I'm gonna check my phone and also I wanna show you guys my outfit because I feel like it's really chic and I'm feeling proud of it. Okay, it kind of shows a weird spot to film this, but anyways, I just have to show you this bag. Like, I think it's real leather. I think it's from Here You. And these shoes, these shoes are also from them. I'll give you a different angle. But anyways, I'm wearing this puffy sleeve top with white pants. They're both from Free People. I've got like a good mix of rings on. Um, did my hair, because Scotty and I are going on a date tonight, so I want to be ready to go when I come back. Earrings, and then the two accessories, I think really pull the outfit together. You always feel cold. Even under the hot sun of LA, I only feel cold. <laughs> and to make it catch fire, I have a charcoal little uh, disc here. Flowers that come out of here. It's kind of Mediterranean. Yeah. Yes, okay. correct. Yeah. Right. I am very cold. Oh, it does feel good. Yeah. Really? Really? It's coming together so nicely. Um, they do. This is great. This is Luda's. <laughs> ben made funky shapes. They're gorgeous. The artist. <laughs> Okay, so Scotty planned this really sweet day because he's selling his car. And so he's like, okay, we're going on the date, and we're going to 8 p.m. because I did this incense class. And I was like, oh, okay, like where are we going? He said it's in Santa Monica, and I talked on this other restaurant before. And then he's like, it's an influencer's paradise. And I was like, oh, okay, I know, I know, I know the spot. And then on the way here, I was like, oh, I don't think I know where we're going. And we pulled up to this other restaurant and it was not the one place I thought. <laughs> and it was kind of funny and I was very shook. But now we got drinks and our waiter's really funny and he reminds me of the guy from Kurt here at this And all that matters is that I'm looking at My man's looking sick. Yeah. It's good YouTube. I don't think your tat has been shown on YouTube yet. Oh, really? It's a Mary. Or no, it's Pangea. It, you have to put your arm up to the side. Yeah, I can see it better now. The culture. <laughs> Thank you. Before we start shooting, I have something exciting to tell you. Oh, what? Oh my god! Stop! Oh my god! Shut up! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so excited for you! What? Oh my god! 
so sweet. <laughs> Lisa. My vlogonians. My yummy mans. In the flesh. My handsome mans. So Scotty's selling his car that he leveled up in life with tonight. I love this car. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute, but he's selling it to a friend. And I was kind of sad at first, but it's been dragged on for a while. So now I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> but we're gonna enjoy his car for the next like two ish hours. And then I guess we will no longer have it. I say we, but it's his. I wanna you see your that? sexy face. <laughs> In your car, it looks so red on the camera. Not the red leather. <laughs> oh, I thought you knew. Yeah, gang, we out here fucking Palisades, you know, walking that tough shit. Scotty's grandparents live in the Palisades. Yeah, they do. They bought a house here in the 1960s for $30,000. $30,000, guys. It's worth $4 million. Talk about a come up. Just saw Spencer Pratt. Hi guys, I'm literally this cup, emotional roller coaster, roller coaster. Except not, it's not like I've been having like crazy emotions or anything, but I just feel like quite overwhelmed. Last night was actually such a good time. It ended up being um, St. Patrick's Day. I was gonna say like look of the Irish day, but that's a Disney Channel movie that we were just talking about. And we were just kind of like walking around trying to find somewhere to eat after we were hanging out in the Palisades. We went and sat down at Roberta's and I love that place. I go there a lot and I think I discovered my new favorite pizza there. It was called the Olive Laugh Love. And when the guy brought it out to me, he was just like, <laughs> I refuse to say the name of this pizza. And like put it on the table in front of me. But it was really fucking good. But I kind of feel like things are catching up to me today. Because this week's been like a bit of fun, but also like a bit of work. But... I don't know, I just get overwhelmed, but I don't know. Anyways, we are on the right track. Did an Instagram post today, my room is a disaster. I really need to clean it up. You can't see that much right now, but like I just have clothes everywhere. Today, I'm just gonna clean this up and then I think go to Poshmark or like go shit boxes out for Poshmark. I need to pick up a package from UPS and then I have some stuff to open here, just like, kind of like admin stuff but like real life admin stuff not on the computer but like things i just need to get done tomorrow i'm shooting with a friend who does hair she does like celebrity hair so she has um hair on set and then also like for like events she'll go to like go to someone's house and give them a hairstyle so she's been partnering with her friend that's a videographer and we're gonna go take some cool photos so i need to like pick out some outfits tonight and send them pictures to make sure we're all on like the same vibe so for now, I'm gonna clean. Okay, I'm back. I went out and got a package from, I don't know why, but they're having an issue getting into our building sometimes. Let's open up a few things. I don't know what this is. Cute. This sweater. This is really cute actually. 
I say actually because I guess I don't really shop them. I feel like it's kind of like not quite my age range. Also, yeah, I changed earlier. This is giving me mom. No. Nice thought, but not for me. Okay, let's open up a fun Poshmark thing I bought. I've kind of been like loving shopping Poshmark lately. I just got this. And this is a for Love and Lemons piece. Like, and the back's open, holy shit. Hopefully the neck's not too tight. Definitely gonna need tick cups, but... Okay. Wow. This is from Jenny Bird. They got really cute, like, affordable price point jewelry. Can't remember what I picked out, so... Oh, you know what? Okay, this is actually really cool. So, this is an ear cuff. And you see it has a little thing at the bottom, so I think what you do is you put it on and then you take the chain part and you like... Wait, did I mess that up? Oh yeah, I got these chunky hoops. But look at this. Maybe we should try them on. Oh my goodness. They're real chunky. I like them. working with Sanctuary and guys they actually have like really cool pieces right now which I know like is kind of shocking like this is from Sanctuary and I feel like they're trying to get into the younger market which is like fun for us let me show you what they sent because some of this is a surprise to me like this swimsuit which looks like it's reversible that's actually really cool I kind of like this side better that could be so cute. Let's see. Oh, okay, so I got a few different things to test. First, I got this like tight bodycon dress, um, just because I feel like this is a really good staple. This shirt, which kind of looks big, but whatever. I think maybe it's supposed to be loose. I got it to wear it with these cute jeans, but they're like a crop situation, which is really cute. And then I got this blazer to like I was thinking I'd wear it with the jeans on that top, which is kind of classic for me, but I felt like it could be nice. And then also, I have been really wanting this item from them, and they sent it so rad. It's a dress. It's a freaking checkered dress from Sanctuary. Like, you wouldn't expect it. That's all for packages. Some product shot or yeah, product shot. Yeah. <laughs> Barb's got the flowers. I'm on back hung out with Scotty and yeah hung out today was so fun I realized I didn't like properly introduce Barb and Sarah but they started their own little production company thing and so we just like shot this uh, video for a hair company that Barb was representing and then we shot some more really rad photos I will pop them in so you can see them uh, but probably a minute before all of them are out came back I just ordered Erewhon I know 
I'm being that bitch. I've been watching Lucy McFadden, but I think I'm gonna watch someone else. Guys, this is my favorite Air One salad. It's the Ponzu noodle salad. It's so good. We've decided on Paige Wassel on YouTube. I love her videos right now. It's all like home stuff. She's really great. Good morning, guys. It's like almost nine o'clock. I was so tired last night, so I slept in. I didn't really vlog yesterday because yesterday was like my admin day, so I just sat here on my desk and then ran a couple of errands, like walked to Target and got my car washed. But today, today is a fun day because Today, I'm going to my first ever event with three people, and I've literally been obsessed with them like since I can remember. Like, when I first found them, I was like, also, when my nails is gone, I was like, holy shit, I fucking love this brand. That was like probably back in like 2009. I still have my like first three people pieces I ever got. But yeah, I'm really excited. We I haven't ever like worked with the brand in a paid capacity, which I feel like it's something that's going to happen. It's just been like, I don't know, drawn out. Like I've been in communication with them this past year. Um, and I've worked with the Free People Movement team on multiple contracts. So that was really cool. Today we're going to do a beach cleanup in Santa Monica from 10 to 12. And then I'm coming back for like midday. And then we have a little private dinner in Venice at Jolina and I think it's like a small group of people they send us outfits so before I head out today and tonight obviously I'm going to show you what I'm wearing I'm really excited to meet the team because they're coming from the east coast there's like seven of them and I'm super excited this is like definitely something that I've been working towards for a long time so it's really cool to be invited okay we are fully dressed you can kind of see my reflection in the mirror but I'm um, wearing this purple tank top. It's all for people movement. I had this one in pink before and I kind of wore it to its death, but now I have this new one. And this is a skirt that I recently posted on Instagram and it's very cute. Everything's for people movement. And I'm gonna wear these sneakers cause we're gonna be in the sand. I don't wanna get my hokas dirty. Hi guys, the Free People Beach Cleanup was so good and now I'm walking to Jolina in Venice which is a really good pizza restaurant. Scotty and I actually went there on a date like last week. Um, we're going up to the rooftop, never been up there so I feel like it's probably really cute and I'm wearing this Actually, I'm my camera right here. We're in this blue outfit. And I think it's very cute. You obviously can't see my shoes, but I'll figure out the name of it and put it on here. But I think it's like an intimate little dinner, so let's go check it out. So crazy. I will be right Yeah. Oh, he flies? You're not lying, actually. Yeah. Yes, officer, you like say that like on the fucking podcast. Hi, guys. I just got my facial at the well, people. Um, I have my makeup with me because I'm going to meet Melissa in West Hollywood. Right now we're in Studio City, so West Hollywood's probably like 25 minutes over the hill. But I ordered a salad from 
Uh, I was about to say sweet green. <laughs> Classic. From Jones on 3rd up the street. I used to, this was like my stopping, gr stopping grounds was Studio City. Like I did everything over here. I love this neighborhood. It's where I first started working. When I moved here, I worked at the Studio City and um, oh my god. Fuck. I worked at the free people in Studio City. Shout out Nairi. Nairi's the best manager in the whole world and she's also the best worker ever. If you ever go there, you'll probably meet her and she has the best customer service I've ever experienced like working there and shopping there. I just feel like Studio City's like popping off. They got an Erewhon now, a free people movement. They have the talks, the now. Um, squeeze like this amazing sushi restaurant i really like this neighborhood i brought my makeup because i just got a facial and my skin is so glowy and i got some goodies and some juice which i was about to drink because yes and i think we're gonna get some stuff from them for the bachelorette party i'm hosting for my sister coming next month Okay, this is gonna be the last bit of the vlog. I'm going to something that I'm low-key freaking out about because it is a launch party for Hallie Elefante, I believe is how you say her name, AKA the Salty Blonde. She's just like the epitome of like why I started everything that I do and I can't believe I'm invited. I'm, I mean, I can't believe it. I'm just like so excited. This is a good way to wrap up the vlog. So let's go check it out. Oh my god, your face is so cute. Guys, I ran into Claudia. Hi, friends. Dude, I'm like, crashing this. But we're really getting our cars now. We're homies from Indiana. Indiana homies. <laughs> 